All right, crew, super stoked. I got it. RTX A6000. You're probably thinking like, what on earth am I gonna do with this? Well, I'm gonna pair it with this first. That's Dell's new 40 inch curved monitor, which technically this supports, right? 8K support. Um, I also plan on using this in SOLIDWORKS, although I think it's way overkill for the SOLIDWORKS CAD platform. Um, it should rip, right? Um, especially with opening large models. It's got an ungodly amount of RAM. Oh, man, it's got 48 gigs of RAM. Holy crap, I think, I think that's as much as I have on my computer. <laughs> okay, um, but really one of the things I plan on using this for is a couple of rendering applications. One in particular, SOLIDWORKS Visualize. Um, it'll definitely take, uh, it'll definitely use both the 8K monitor, the 8K settings here, um, and definitely use all of the ray tracing and CUDA cores, uh, ray tracing cores and, and CUDA cores to render some pretty stellar um, images from SOLIDWORKS and then visualize and so on. So that's really where I'm probably going to peg the power out of this thing. Um, <clears throat> of course, when I got it, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to open it, right? Like, I had to break the seals. So I thought I'd share with you guys just real quick a, um, an unboxing of the um, RTX A6000. I've been waiting a while for this, actually, since it came out. Oh, man, super nice box. <sighs> it even smells good. What are they putting in their packaging? Okay, I mean, some decent packaging. Kind of what you expect when you buy an expensive GPU. Um, this is its presentation right out of the box. It's got kind of like a canted, it's got a, like a canted box. I'm going to hold this so it doesn't fall out. This is what it looks like. Well, let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. So as soon as I get this installed, um, I'm going to give it a go in both SOLIDWORKS and Visualize and kind of do a little um, review on that. Um, of course, I'll run it through Firmark too, just to see what kind of specs I get. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging now. It's a nice snug fit. Yeah, it's kind of heavy, actually. It's, it's all aluminum. How did they make this? This looks like extruded aluminum. Um, and it's got aluminum base plate. This is really nice. All right, this is like, there's not a lot of screw holes. I'm like wondering how they put this together. My guess is that it's extruded aluminum and they have these cavities built in that are later machined out. Um, this silver part is also some sort of heat sink. It looks like aluminum too. There's a super nice polished finish on the top of this. It looks like it's polished. If, if I had to guess, it looks like it's polished and then anodized. You can see almost perfectly the reflection of the camera and the light in that. It'll look great in my computer. Um, somewhere down the line, I am going to have to upgrade my motherboard because I don't think it has the right, it has the, it has, you know, PCI 3, but I think it's PCI 4 now. Um, it's got, uh, four display ports in the back where it's venting. And yeah, this is just the first look at it. I put my fingerprints on it now. It's got its first fingerprint. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in the box. Underneath the, where the GPU sits, there's like a little flap. So we can pull this open. It looks like we have the RTX manuals. This is a support guide, quick start guide. That's all that's in there. And then it comes with some cables. There is a uh, display port to HDMI adapter. Those are always handy. I think I have a couple of those already. Oh! And it has a power plug adapter? Huh, how many power ports are there on this thing? Just the one? Er? It's only got one. It's got one power. It's just got the eight. There's no other ones? Say what? I'm so used to having two eight, pins but in 
then I have to plug two 8-pin connectors from my PSU to this guy? Huh. So I wanted to get some close-ups of the GPU just so you can see it. The finish is amazing. I guess everything you'd expect to see in this caliber of GPU. Go ahead and rotate this thing up a little bit so we can take a look at some of the detail. This all aluminum construction. This looks like some, it's, it feels like some sort of heat sink so it's not the same aluminum that's on the outside. It's got the aluminum back plate. And then of course, RTX A6000, brand new from NVIDIA. There appears to be a stereo and sync that are super fine text. Um, I'll have to figure out how I'm supposed to use those. And then of course the NV link slot, it's covered very nicely. Standard PCI slot there on the bottom. Again, this is the odd thing. Power. It comes with this dual port adapter inside the box. That allows your PSU to connect into two of the locations and then this to connect to the graphics card. They also give you this little doohickey. Highly technical term, doohickey. All right, that's it for the close-up. I just thought I'd add a little bit more to it so that you guys can see what's in the box and get those fine details. I'm so stoked, man. I got the combo that I've always wanted, right? The like elite RTX uh, uh, workstation card for all the software that I run. And then the 8K monitor that, uh, that I splurged and got. So um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next couple of videos. If you have any comments, uh, you know, leave them in the chat. Maybe I'll read them, maybe I won't. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the, uh, the uh, thumbs up and uh, you know, subscribe if you like. <laughs> I almost said green check because I've been teaching SolidWorks so much, but yeah. Uh, hit subscribe and uh, thumbs up, definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched all the way through, I can't thank you enough. Um, technically, this is my second unboxing, so uh, hopefully we'll get some more along the way here. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye, on.